So we get a lot of comments and questions about what kind of gear we use to train, and we decided we'd just do a little rundown of all the fencing gear we use. So first, start with our head, we have our fencing masks. These are heavy duty um, HEMA fencing masks. They have a 350 Newton rating. There are ones that go higher, but this is pretty good. Um, we also have these back of head protectors that, uh, that protect the back of our head from getting hit. Because unlike traditional Olympic fencing, um, which is in a straight line and the opponents never circle or get behind each other, in, uh, in you know, historical sword play, HEMA, whatever you want to call it, there are times when you will be turned around. So I might go for something that ends up like this. I could get, get hit in the back of the head. So we have this little flap, uh, little thing here. This is what we use for that. Uh, we also have fencing jackets. So this is a heavily padded um, canvas or heavy duty material jacket that has a uh, puncture or a, a, a rip tear rating of 350 Newtons. It also has uh, inserts here, here, and a couple other places to pad it. Um, they're different, they're, these are both SPES jackets with S-P-E-S, uh, which is a company that makes great um, fencing gear that we are using them from. We bought them off the Purple, Ar Purple Heart Armory site. Uh, but So fencing jackets to keep our chest safe. Um, he has a chest protector that keeps you safe from any really hard thrusts. Uh, I sometimes use one, sometimes don't. We also have hand protection. This is the most important thing to me. This is heavy duty lobster gauntlet. Uh, it's got a really heavy duty shell on it. All, everything's protected, including the tips of the thumbs, but it has a nice soft inside to grab the sword with. It's a little bit cumbersome, more so than a glove would be, but not so much so that it heavily inf inf uh, influences my fencing. Um, it's a trade-off that I'm willing to make because I've been hitting the hands so many times. I've definitely broken some stuff, so this is a huge upgrade. We also have forearm and elbow protection. Another big one for me, I broke my arm in half when I was younger, uh, and I have plates and screws in this arm, and getting hit in that really, really hurts. So having this here is great. Uh, you can really do some damage on bony parts with these heavier swords, a lot heavier than uh, you know Olympic fencing, which doesn't need quite as much padding, but man, stuff can hurt. Elbows, you can easily chip elbows with these swords, and it's happened before to me. We also have, and this is one we get a lot of comments on, um, these fencing pants. So these are heavy duty fencing pants, same thing as the jackets, they have a puncture resistance. They also have padding here, and um, I think it's just here. They also, we have additionally put on knee pads and shin pads, and while we do not get hit in the legs very often, almost, almost never, Getting hit in the legs hurts a lot because there's like bones and things and it, having having shin bruises or knee bruises or even thigh bruises is not fun. Um, we do get thrust in the legs more often. So thrusts in the legs do happen. They do happen fairly often. So that's nice to have this here in the way so you don't get hurt. Um, it's advisable also to wear a cup if you were a gentleman because, um, well, obviously that's not fun. Uh, so that's kind of the standard fencing gear. Shoes. Oh yeah, shoes. You want to have shoes that are nice and flat so that you're not rolling around on big fluffy like trainer style shoes. So we both have uh, different styles of flat shoes on. That's our standard fencing gear loadout. There are other pieces of equipment we use. Sometimes we have gloves that we use for lighter weapons instead of these gauntlets, uh, the, the lobster gauntlets. We have stuff like this that has uh, some padding in the knuckles and in the fingers and in the, in the wrist, but isn't quite as heavy. So this is great for rapier which already has a nice case around it anyway. Um, also for saber, sometimes we wear gorgets, which are um, neck protection that can protect you from thrusts. This has a built-in like smaller gorget, but sometimes you just want to feel a little bit more protected. So this has, it's like a bib. It's got uh, protection here on the wings of the collarbones and right here as well. So that's another thing we use sometimes. Gorget, not gorget or gorget. Sometimes gorget. I think it's Gorgé. It's French. The French. So, yes, um, that is the fencing gear that we generally use. We're going to do reviews on a lot of this gear coming up soon, so stay tuned to our channel, and uh, we hope you had fun with us today.